Hi, my name is Jordan Magnuson, and I'm just going to give you a brief introduction to the uh, Bounce Convert Drupal module. Uh, now, the Bounce Convert Drupal module is a module that's designed uh, to detect when a visitor is leaving your website um, using JavaScript. So when they uh, when they break the browser pane, for instance, to click on the back button. Um, and when they're going to leave the website, uh, it shows them a modal pop-up. Uh, with a form uh, so that you can collect their email address, for instance, uh, or, or uh, give some sort of call to action, uh, prov you know, ask them why they're leaving. Basically, it allows you to get um, an extra page view um, on, on visitors who are leaving your, your website. Um, it's designed to be a Drupal-based so, um, Drupal solution that works similarly to ser um, web services like Exit Monitor and Bounce Exchange. Um, we have, for example, Exit Monitor here, you can see on their website. Um, if I go to leave the website, there's the modal pop-up uh, that says, you know, convert existing web visitors into leads, you know, asks me for my email address, uh, attempts to convert me before I leave. Um, or Bounce Exchange, we have a similar sort of uh, deal uh, where you go to, uh, go to leave the website. If it's working, <laughs> there we go. Um, and uh, they should go ahead and try to convert you there with a, with a final page view. Um, and here you can see um, on my own website, I'll go ahead and clear this, show it more, one more time. Um, here's a website that has, um, that has the Bounce Convert Drupal module um, installed. And again, if you go to leave the website, uh, you get the modal pop-up asking, in this case, um, for an email address saying, wait, you know, you can get a free kit. Um, so basically, it's trying to uh, collect people who are bouncing um, and convert them uh, into into leads by, by allowing you to capture their email address or other information instead of simply losing the visitor. Um, and so uh, I'll go ahead and, and also show you here... Um, just one moment. The uh, here's a an example campaign report uh, again from the same website um, using Bounce Convert module, and you can see here um, this uh, Bounce Convert automatically will track the impressions uh, that you've had every time a modal pop-up is shown, uh, the number of form submissions, the conversions here, and then the conversion rate. Um, you can see some nice uh, graphs, um, conversion and impression data. Um, over time, you can get data for for the day. Um, you know, you can get data for the last seven days, uh, last 30 days, etc. Um, and then down here, yeah, you can see it'll show you every uh, every submission that's been collected. Um, the user, if they're anonymous, the IP address. Uh, you can actually go ahead and view the particular submission uh, for that user. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, and just walk you through the process briefly here of setting up and, and theming a, brown, uh, a bounce convert campaign um, using this module. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my uh, development site um, here. And the first step um, when creating bounce convert, convert campaign is actually creating a web form um, because every uh, bounce convert campaign is based on a web form. Uh, that depends on the web form module for creation. So that can be something simple. It's just like an email address, for instance. It could be a poll, a survey. It can be whatever you want. It could just be markup um, with a link or something if you just want to have a call to action there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add a web for go to content add co content web form, um, and I'm just going to add a web form here. That's um, go ahead and close this. Uh, that's you know email campaign web form. And uh, save that. And then the web form components, I'm going to add a couple of things. I mean, first of all, I'm going to add the email field. This is just going to be a simple campaign that's designed to capture an email address. Um, so I'm going to use an email field there. Um, as a point of interest, uh, there is a module called the web form MailChimp module that allows you to capture uh, that integrates the MailChimp newsletter service directly with the web form module, uh, which allows you to create um, field components here that are MailChimp email components, which will send the email address directly to your MailChimp uh, newsletter uh, 
list. Uh, so that's really handy. That's what I'm using on my live site. Um, but for here we'll just uh, use an email field. This will just allow you to collect email addresses and then you'd need to say import them into your um, newsletter um, service. Uh, I'm going to be say required. Go ahead and add that. Um, go ahead and uh, have a uh, placeholder text. Please enter your email address. Um, no label. Um, save that. Then we're going to have another component here um, that's going to be um, just a markup component. That's just going to be a message above the email address. Um, if, if we go to view this web form right now, you can see it's just an email address. Please enter your email address. I also want to have a, um, a message um, component. Um, so the message is going to say, let's see here. So that's just going to be uh, some markup above the email address. Um, and the message, oh, message. Okay, and the message is just going to be some uh, an HTML here. It's just going to be wait. Uh, it's going to say wait, subscribe to our newsletter, and receive this free kit. And I'm putting in uh, some some CSS uh, selectors there, so for theming later on. I'm going to go ahead and move that message above the email address. So now, if you see the web form, really exciting. Wait, subscribe to our newsletter, receive this free kit, and please enter your email address. Okay, um, now a couple other things I'm going to do with this form. Um, oops, web form. I'm going to go ahead and edit the form settings. Um, I'm going to put in a, um, a default uh, confirma uh, confirmation message here. Uh, you can, you know, you can do a variety of things when, when they submit the form. You can uh, redirect them. You could uh, you know, or just submit, uh, or just show a confirmation message. I'm just going to show this message. Thank you. Welcome email with your free kit will be sent to you shortly. So I'm putting that in that confirmation confirmation message again, full HTML. Okay, and then I'm also going to edit under advanced settings. I'm going to change the submit button uh, text to just be uh, get your free kit. Save that. So if we view our web form now, um, please enter your email address. Um, I'm going to say test at localhost.com, get your free kit, um, and we have this thank you message. Okay, so not very exciting and uh, not themed yet, um, but this is the basis for, this is going to be the basis for our uh, for our campaign, you know, uh, it's basically what we, what we need here. So now we're going to go ahead and say add content, bounce convert campaign. Um, now I'm going to call this a uh, newsletter campaign. I'm going to set it to active. Now I'm going to select here, select web form. Now this is, forms the basis for this campaign, as I said. So I'm going to select the web form that I just created, email campaign web form. Cookie expiration is the time in seconds um, you want to elapse before you show the pop-up to the same user twice. Um, so normally you don't want to say be showing this pop-up every single time the user's uh, moving their mouse above the browser pane. Um, but for testing, usually, you know, you'd, you'd want maybe like a, a week or a month or something um, in, in there. Um, but for testing purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and say zero. So that's going to show every single time we move above the browser pane. Um, then here we have the modal options for the actual modal pop-up, uh, the size, the background color, background opacity. I'm going to set this to 500 by 800 width. Um, we have visibility settings here. So you can have the modal pop-up just show on certain pages. Um, or not show on certain pages. Uh, you can also have it show to particular roles. Um, it's common you might have a campaign that you only want to show to anonymous users, for instance, rather than logged in authenticated users. Um, I'm not going to adjust any of this right now. Actually, go, go ahead and say all pages except, I just won't show that on admin paths for now. Um, and that's, right now we can basically ignore all these default, um, all this other node information for right now. Just going to go ahead and say save. Okay, so now we've uh, got the newsletter campaign created. Now, if I go above uh, the browser pane, I'm going to now here. Now, this is the fully themed form, actually. Um, I forgot to remove the CSS. I'm going to go ahead and remove the CSS for a moment. Um, uh, 
uh, and go ahead and flush the CSS and JavaScript cache. Okay, so here, here's what, without adding any custom CSS, here's now what this campaign looks like. Um, it's just displaying that web form. Um, as before, we can enter an email. Um, it'll display the thank you message. Um, so it's all basically working. So the only thing uh, left at this point um, is actually theming this form. Um, and you can do that like you would theme any web form, uh, any or any other component within Drupal. Um, basically, um, I've you know all the all, all the if we inspect this element here, uh, you know all the all the CSS selectors are already here, um, and you can examine and inspect those um, and target them. And I'm just gonna so all I'm gonna do now is put back this uh, CSS that targets this this modal and flush the CSS again. So I've gone ahead and just added again. I've only added CSS now, um, and not, here's the fully themed. Um, web form now. The, you know, here's the message as before. Please enter your email address. Um, it's the same basic deal. Oh, it looks like we've got some. Uh, some of the CSS is slightly off there. I need to fix this. Um, but you get the basic idea here. Um, and now you can put in your email address, um, and you get a, a, a themed thank you page. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, that's uh, that's the that's the uh, Drupal bounce convert uh, module in action. And again, um, if we we went to go ahead and um, uh, later on we could go to reports um, and go to bounce convert campaigns. Um, and here's a campaign that's been running again. Uh, you can see active total impressions, total conversions. Uh, we can go ahead and click here, and again we can see the the uh, campaign report for that campaign and examine all the submissions. Uh, so that's just a brief introduction to the uh, Drupal uh, Bounce Convert module. Uh, thanks for listening.